Um, next question. This was probably the most interesting question on the list to me. Yeah, I'll say so. Who has the better career if neither player gets hurt, Penny Hardaway or Tracy McGrady? Oh, boy. That's tough. <laughs> That's tough. It's a head scratcher, man. Because, like, so Penny was, like, he was obviously a one-on-one, right? Six, seven, playing point guard, able to handle the way he could, the way he could get to the basket, the way he could play back for other people. Like, it was just, it was all perfect, right? Tracy McGrady, though, like, Every time people mention his name, I instantly go to him in Houston and what is it, 13 points in 39 seconds or whatever against the Spurs. Come on. That's ridiculous. Yeah, like, the 13 in like 33 seconds Tracy or something like that. Tracy in his prime was ridiculous. Yeah, and so it's it's really crazy that I didn't even realize he retired at the age of 32. That's what got me was I'm like, or excuse me, yeah, 33. The last time he played pro ball in the NBA was 32. And that was nine years ago. And that's what's crazy. And with uh, and I'm looking at it now with Penny. Penny's last year, he actually missed the year because he retired and then he tried to make a comeback. Right. Try to play with the Heat in 08. And I didn't even think that's the thing. It's like you wouldn't even, you really? wouldn't have even known that he was on the squad. Penny was playing in Miami. He played 2007, 2008 with the, wow. the Miami Heat. I don't you, remember that at all. Exactly. You weren't you <laughs> won't even you all. won't even remember that. That he played with Dwayne Wade. So this is look. It's hard, man. Because if you look at the stats, you look at it, um they they both play fifteen seasons. Both of them did. Um Penny was more a point guard. Right. But he could score. He knew how to score, get to the cup, and score. Tracy would score first. Right. I'm going to put the ball in the hoop however I need to before I even think about making a pass. So, as a scoring guard, I think Tracy already fulfilled what he was supposed to do. Right. Compared to Penny, who was an all-around player. And I can't. it's hard because you got an all-around guard against a scoring guard. And they both played around the same time period. Yeah, like they they didn't quite overlap, but the errors weren't too far off. I think if Shaq doesn't leave Orlando, Penny has the most awesome career out of the two. But Shaq left. When Shaq left, that took a piece away from Penny. You know what I mean? If you really look at it. Yeah. See, now, I would have been like Penny or Grant Hill. That's kind of hard to throw Tracy in that mix. So, to me, it, you can even you can even add Grant Hill. It, it's crazy that all three of them played for the Magic. But, uh, <laughs> one know. and what? One kind of overlapped the other? Yeah. You so know like what I'm you saying? Went, you went from <laughs> Hurt Penny to then trading Tracy to Grant to Hill. Hurt Grant. Well, I guess you had Hurt Grant Hill before trading yep. Tracy. You had, but, yeah. I, so... <sighs> I it, thought they played together for real. I thought they did. I really thought that Grant Hill played. The problem was Grant Hill was hurt, and he yeah. didn't really get a chance to. He did. So that was the thing because if you, I guess that was was that around like two thousand, two thousand one, two thousand one, two thousand two. So Grant Hill goes and signs the free agent deal with Orlando. Yeah, they then trade for Tracy. Or do I have the order of operation? You got it right. Okay. It's like right there. So they trade that? for Tracy because I remember. People talking about it after the fact. There was this big talk around the Magic that they had. They thought they had a chance at Tim Duncan. Yeah. So the thought for them, which crazy if it would have happened, Tracy McGrady, Grant Hill, Tim Duncan, same team in Orlando. Now that's when you talk, start talking big three stuff. That's that, when you start talking that. That big three could have got real, real heads and beds for the rest of the league, <laughs> especially in the East. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. Iverson don't even get looked at. If those three play together at the same time during that time period. No, who's stopping? Especially if Grant Hill is healthy the whole time. Like, who's stopping that? Yeah, you got to think about healthy groups right there, man. Yeah, so if you – gun to my head. The two of, the, of those two? Of those two, I'm probably going to give the edge to Penny. Yep, that's what I was going to go for. The reason I say that is because I feel like Penny's the more interchangeable part. So, like, Tracy, it was some years in Orlando where it was looking bad for them. Yep. 
I feel like Penny could make players around him better in a way that Tracy just didn't really have full blown in that time frame. Correct. Came a little bit more when he was in Houston, but we only saw that, you know, his prime in Houston, what, about basically like three years? Mm hmm. So I think I got to go with Penny, but that's a, that's a tough one. It is. That's that, a tough one. That, that, that's a good question, whoever uh, put that one out I, there. Look, again, I apologize for not saving the names of, of these you know, <laughs> listeners and, 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 you know, friends of the show, as I like to call them. But, that yeah, that question was A1 right there. That's a, that's a 